YouTube, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the manifold off the EJ207, the 255, and the 257, and how to make your drive-by wire uh, configuration fit onto the EJ207 and a little bit of the differences. Follow along. This is the EJ255 manifold. It's plastic, so it's better at heat dissipation. As you see, uh, let me see, let me turn this around. The, this is actually the back of it, and you notice that it's off-center. You can swap out this plastic manifold for the STI one if you'd like. So a lot of people do it for the reasoning of uh, powder coating, changing the color, and I mean, it's an STI, so they, they like that style. Essentially, if you do switch this out, then you have to switch out the intercooler because um, it uses a different flange setup as well. Um, and these are usually associated with a VF52 off the WRX's uh, VF40 and VF46, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that one, but I know for sure that this mounted up to the VF52. So here's the plastic uh, manifold with the TGVs hooked up to it and these TGVs as you see they kind of restrict flow because of uh, well there's flaps in there and they're controlled by the ECU well never mind those the shavings because I was trying something but yeah so Usually people, if you still want to keep this, it's a good idea to go with TGV deletes, which means that they take out these flaps here and just pretty much hollow it out and make sure there's no restriction of airflow. I do have to say, if you are in a state that does not allow you to take out the TGVs, then do not do it. But I mean, do your research. This is the stock STI manifold. Usually they they come in wrinkle red. Um, I had this powder coated, and as you see, I have the TGVs done as well. But these are TGV deletes. So if I flip them on the back side, let me be careful with this. You see, there's no flaps inside. There's no flaps inside of them at all. Also, I also went with the. Uh, phenolic spacers here to help this heat away from the intake manifold so it doesn't take any heat that comes off the block or anything. Look at this, you probably realize that the port for the throttle body is right directly in the middle. So how it mounts in the, on the car, you can actually mount it forward or backwards. The only downfall about mount mounting it that this is the forward end, uh, like say this is the radiator and everything and it's coming forward. You're going to have to either relocate your your alternator because that piping will hit with the throttle body or you get a kit that actually trims it down and moves the alternator just a hair. IAG makes a kit that takes out the AC compressor, which I'll show on. It actually removes this, the AC condenser, so that you can move the alternator to the right a little bit so that the throttle body can mount right here and then you can have your um intake tube go down and which in hand goes to the intercooler which is you know the, the shortest route that you can take from the turbo um but as you see i mounted it backwards because it would have been a lot easier I, i'd like to keep my ac condenser without shaving any part of the alternator or lowering it there's people that have done it there's a kit the sti manifold the actual manifold itself stops right here and it goes on to the TGVs, which these are the deleted case. So essentially they, they're free flow. If you look at the 207, you see how it goes straight to the head. Well, minus that, uh, that spacer, there's no TGVs in it. So it's, it's a long run. So it actually goes from there and goes around all the way to the bottom. It gets downfall about going from 
this to the 207 is that these bolt holes are in a different alignment and they're different sizes. The STI one comes with an M6 by 100 and then on the EJ207, it's an M8 by 125. Here's a visual representation of the differences. Now this is the one that goes on the EJ207 to M8. And this is the one that goes to the STI EJ257. Had a lot of trial and error with throttle bodies. I think I've gone through five, but this is the one that came out of the Legacy GT. Notice that the same orientation that the, the plug-in is the control modules on the left side of it. And notice that this has a map sensor plug and this one doesn't. Only because map sensor on this sits on the front somewhere here. If you are curious on what it means to be drive by cable versus drive by wire, when you have a plug to your throttle body, that is considered drive by wire. And if you have a cable, there's literally a cable associated with like a spring style and that controls your, your flap right here instead of the ECU controlling it. But notice on the EJ207 header, there's a little spacer right here. You're gonna have to have that, otherwise you're gonna hit this right here on the edge of the manifold. Itself. Also with that, I've had different styles that I had to try just to make, make sure, sure you put it the works. throttle body in a vise and make sure that you're doing this as as nice and straight as possible. Um, it'd be best if you did it with a drill press, but what I started off with is the 5 16 And then after I was done with all the holes, uh, the four holes, I went to a 21 64 and I finished it off with a thir uh, 11 30 seconds. After I got a step up bit and I went to about 7 16 You can see all the residue from, from me trying. After that, I went to a skinnier one. See the difference right there? And then I went up to the 3 8 or 7 16 I forget what the number was, but you'll, you can justify what, what you can use with it, right? As you see, you get pretty close to the edge when you're drilling that hole because the alignment is so much different. Make sure you have the appropriate length to go into the intake manifold from the throttle body and then take into consideration what spacer you use and how thick that one is. So make sure you get a caliper and measure the distance from here to here on the actual throttle body, the spacer, and then I went about 10 millimeters into the intake manifold itself, depending on what throttle body you decide to use. I got one from the STI, so it has the map sensor on the bottom, but essentially you really don't have to because I went with the Haltech Elite 2500 and this actually doesn't get used. The You run a boost reference line to the actual Haltech itself because it has a three bar map installed. There's barely on. any light in here, but that's where the map sensor is on the Haltech. Pretty cool. So essentially, I could have just used a regular uh, Legacy GT throttle body. And the, the summary to this, the reason why I went with this is because I don't have to deal with TGVs and it looks so much cleaner. Um, the guy that had this manifold before me, he shaved all of this down and made it as smooth as possible. Chaotic coating to fill in some of the aluminum and then he powder coated this, looks great. He powder coated the turbo and he also powder coated this manifold. The manifold that you could use is the naturally aspirated uh, EJ25 ones that come off just the regular non-turbo uh, legacies and anything else that comes with the EJ25, non-turbo of course. And those intake plenums are massive. All right, now that I showed you guys this process to get a throttle body that's drive by wire associated to an EJ207, which is originally drive by cable. The next thing you're gonna have to do is look at the fuel rails because they're gonna be totally different. The alignment. So, right here is a company called Illuminati. They made spacers for this. So, the spacers make it that your injectors off of your STI or whatever you decide, you know, EJ255 will fit with the top fuel rails and have it mounted 
as you see right here. All of the adapters and spacers, I'm gonna link in the bio so you can see essentially what I did use. If you have any questions uh, in regards to the manifolds, um, if you, anything really, or if you have any tips and tricks for myself to learn, let me know, leave it in the comments, message me, it doesn't matter, I'll, I'll get back to you. Um, I mean, some people are gonna think negative about this, some people are thinking it's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. So let me know what you think. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and good night. Peace.